You better be honest about how long you've been in the States the next time you cross back into Canada. Changes at the border now allow the two governments, the U.S. and Canada, to share information about when you enter and exit the country. Greg Harper joins us live from the Peace Arch border crossing with more. Greg. Good morning, Jody. It's called the Entry Exit Initiative, and it's actually been in place for several months now. It's been in a, it was quietly put in place, and it's something that uh, probably many British Columbians aren't aware of, and something you should definitely know about. So the change here now: customs officers in both countries will know how long a Canadian has been in the U.S. or, or how long an American has been in Canada. Before, officials in both countries could only track entry dates, but now. When a customs officer scans uh, your passport, they will have the information about uh, when you entered the country and when you exited the country as well. So the positive here, it's uh, better security, uh, but there will be those, of course, that aren't happy with this. What is the downside of it? Yes, there's a certain lack of privacy and the, some concerns as to what that other government would do with the information that's provided. Does it comply with our laws or just their laws or both? So for those who make uh, quick trips to the U.S., this probably won't have much of an impact. But if you are someone that travels to the U.S. on a regular basis, uh, stays in the U.S. for months at a time, uh, better make sure your information is accurate uh, because now if you do stay in the U U.S. for too long, uh, it could mean you pay higher taxes, could even mean you lose your health care. So information uh, needs to be accurate, that's for sure. Jody? All right, thanks so much. Greg Harper reporting live for us from the Peace Arch this morning.